New at five, an alligator that was found at Claremore Lake and put down seems to be leaving a lasting impression on the city. The community is coming together with memorial tattoos, petitions, and a mini festival of sorts to remember the alligator. Fox 23's Alex Cash is live with how the animal has sparked a gator frenzy in Claremore. Alex. Well, here at Claremore Lake, there's kind of a, a mini festival feel this evening. People are starting to gather for a memorial to the alligator, but it's not too serious. It's a little bit fun. Um, they've set up a band in the background there. I'm told there's memorial t-shirts, there's sausage gator pizza, and I'm told there's going to be a balloon alligator here as well. But it just shows how much that alligator fever has gripped Claremore, and people are having fun with it and they're starting to come together over the animal. Claremore can't stop talking about what isn't lurking beneath these waters. It's an unusual thing to bring people together, that's for sure. A nine foot six inch alligator was found at Claremore Lake earlier this month and put down. Jackson Savage heard about it and has even named the gator. I call him Al or uh, Albert Edward Gator, Al E. Gator. He organized a gathering for the alligator and hopes it'll turn into a yearly mini festival. I felt like we need to at least remember it. What I would like to see would be a sign put up at least a sign or a statue or something, a monument put up at the lake. Meanwhile, Gator Mania has struck the Secret Ink tattoo shop. They've started doing memorial gator tattoos. The phones are blowing up, blowing up. We've got them coming in, they're calling nonstop. It's everybody's having fun with it. Shop manager Tammy Wallace says it started as a joke, but they've already done around 50. Years from now, the grandkids or something, they'll be like, you know, why do you have that gator? Well, let me tell you, you know, 2022, you know, there was a gator found at the lake. Gator fever spread to Uligar Lake too. Nine of the crew from Redbud Marina have got the tattoos. Brett Moorhead and Jack's riding hour showed us theirs. They started talking about the gator and we're all here. Here, so we thought we'd just pitch in. I like mine. I, I mean, it's hidden, so I don't have to show everybody. The Claremore Museum of History got in on the fun with a joke Facebook post about the alligator, and there's even a petition to change the name of the Claremore football team from the zebras to the gators. Dylan Foudre is the man behind that. The Claremore gators, I mean, is it not the best sounding like ring to it? The Claremore zebras, you're like the zebras, you know what I mean? <laughs> Nearly 200 people have signed the petition so far, but he says no matter what happens, the alligator has definitely brought Claremore together. Yeah. Well, I'm told there is a serious side to this event as well, though. Organizers are going to be speaking and remembering the alligator. And even though many people have told me they're just having fun with it, the alligator is obviously bringing the community together. Covering news that matters, I'm Alex Cash, Fox 23 News. What a story. Coming up next in our weekly Crime Watch report, a major gun bust in the city of Tulsa.